one of the things that's always amazed me about him is um, just who he is as a person and his resolve, um, his ability to always do the right thing. And um, when I think about how he was raised and the path that he could have taken, I think most children internalize um, their parents' problems and sometimes they feel like they're the cause or like they are not enough um, and, and they don't feel a sense of value um, or uh, they don't have the belief in themselves. And I, I have always been so amazed at his story, um, at how he was able to believe in himself, believe in God. Uh, he, his faith in God, I, I went through 12 years of Catholic school and um, you know, my, my family was pretty religious, but I have to tell you that my faith really grew when I met him um, because I was just always so astounded by his ability to persevere in spite of everything around him. Um, but he, um, Steve is, is someone that is very grounded. Um, he's someone that does not take anything for granted and I think that's one of the reasons why I fell in love with him um, so quickly because I was so amazed at everything that he noticed um, and everything that he appreciated. And he's someone that um, reminds me every day that we're very blessed just because we have each other. Um, and, you know, I, I don't mean to say that lightly, but that's something that people take for granted. Um, and I, I'm always mindful of what it was like for him to not have anyone. Um, and coming from someone who grew up with a, a pretty large extended family and you know we always celebrated birthdays and holidays and you know I had lots of aunts and uncles and cousins and um, you know family in the traditional sense of the word so for me I, I think I took a lot of those things for granted um, and now I don't anymore it's um, I, I value each and every one of them and and um, and I, just all of our interactions together it's it's nice because when they're not here then, you know, is, is really when you miss them, so.